All right, what's going on guys? Yeti here, back in the video. And in today's video, I'll be teaching y'all how to stop getting hit on d now, right? So if you really struggle with getting out of combos, if you really struggle with spam venting, if you really struggle with live for users, this is the video for you. And the first thing I really wanna address is it is okay to get hit. We are all humans. We all make mistakes, all right? So little slip ups, little ping slip ups, etc. It is okay. All you have to do is get better, adapt. Don't complain because that's just feminine. And yeah, that's about it. So the first thing you really want to focus on is having a balanced build, all right? Having a balanced build is a huge essential because if you go one over the other, you will always be lacking one thing. That's why I always say a tumulus will always be number one because other builds may have talents to make up for your lack in like durability, lack in damage. But in reality, all those have to be triggered in one way or the other versus having a tumulus build that will always be active, that will always be balanced. The next thing you really want to be focused on is venting, all right? So for venting, you want six iridition and six vitality if you're a medium or a heavy user. If you're a light user, I honestly don't really recommend going light weapon because um, that proficiency may be needed, but at the same time, it's a big risk because you still need iridition. So if you do go light, I recommend using solar to maintain that iridition. All right, so another thing y'all really wanna watch out for is certain talents like fast blade, swift rebound, firmly plated. And yeah, that's about it. All those talents give you passive and consistent movement, fast blade, you can just easily hold S and back up to get out of infinite parries from light users, infinite parries with parry demons, and it's really that simple, all right? Uh, another thing y'all should really consider is getting ossification. I do not actually have any ossification slots that I can think of, but I really always wanted ossification, mainly because of its speed buff, and on top of that, it is harder for you to get block broken considering that it chops your posture damage in half, therefore your posture output in half. Therefore, if they do parry you, then your posture response will be less harsh. All right, so another thing I really wanna really stress on is wind gems, all right? So I have a wind gem on gaze, which I act as my active wind gem and is always sort of like a get out of jail free card um but i also have one on things like exhaustion strike and those really both work well because exhaustion strike is a fast moving mantra so what i really recommend using wind gem on most is fast moving mantras mantra you feel like will not be really predictable but mantras that you feel like will not do that much damage to just to get that extra damage buff in that passive damage buff in all right so another thing that i recommend a lot of y'all do to avoid getting hit is if they're a spare user in their silent heart i recommend every time you parry you run at them like ahead of them from their parry direction because most silent heart users are limited to using silent heart in their perceivable vision so if you run the opposite way then they just wasted an ankle cutter all right it is wasted an ankle cutter all right i hope you guys enjoyed like and subscribe for more content share this video with somebody that you know that cannot stop getting hit <coughs> please share it with them and this fight you see in the background is actually me versus a top 250 and i end up a hundred by barring him and yeah yeti 